Hey everybody, here is Elad from Ghost Team and I'm here to show you the 10 new loops for Ghost Team Live. So let's do a quick overview and I'm gonna show you everything. The first loop that is added is this neon loop, which is a recreation of one of my old school loops. We can of course change the neon amount. We can enable screen, which is adding those cool things on the side, which support the enable texture feature. And then you can import basically everything that you want. We can spin this around. We can change the way the neons are being turned on. There's of course, the U, we can do everything here, just like the older loops. The next one is also a recreation of the older loops that I have. And when we turn on the drives, of course, we can change the imported look here to anything else. And we can also change the color and turn the screen off and on. And when we come forward with the camera, of course, these doors will open. The next one is this kind of cloner which we can always switch from cubes to spheres and to triangles. This also, of course, supports the enable texture feature. And also here, of course, we can increase the amount of clones. If you want a more busy scene, we can rotate. We can rotate sideways. We can do a lot of things. Very, very, very cool, of course. We can flicker it up. Whee! The next one is kind of like this truss grid combination, which also has an enable texture feature, inherit color, and rotate, of course, the flicker. And we also have this room light feature, which basically turns like the overall ambience in the room. If you want to see that it's a bit more um, lit up. We have this kind of scene, which is a combination of cubes and mini cubes, which is here, you can see we can turn them off and on separately or change the color separately. And also control the way that they've been lit on. The next one is a tunnel, but a cool tunnel. Why? Because we have TV screens. And then like before, we can enable the enable texture feature. We can, of course, for example, turn everything on. And then if we want, we can take the screen power, put it on BPM sync, add an envelope, choose here the 40 to flow preset, and then we have a screen light that is basically synced to the BPM. Next, we have this scene, which is very dynamic. So the more the camera moves forward, the more these things are being uh, broken apart. And if we stop the drive for a second and use the manual camera, we can see that everything is dynamic. We can, of course, turn each screen here by themselves for the texture feature. So it's up to you which kind of uh, look you want to do. You can only turn only half the screen, you can turn all the screens. That is your decision. Next one is like a TV room and literally TV. So when we click drive, it goes up. And then we can just use it for any kind of input output. You can use a live cam, you can use a logo. Very nice. 19, loops 19 is a screen room which also can rotate. Let's enable the texture. And now we have a feature called spread texture when we turn it on. Basically, all the screens are kind of like sharing the same texture. What we can also do, let's change to red for example, is use this slider to basically bring the roof and the floor down. So if you want to turn like a timeline animation and let's change it to bounce and add an envelope and maybe use exponential. Then we're kind of like creating kind of like this cool animation that goes back and forth by itself. And then you have a new loop all together. Nice, nice, nice. Loop 20, which is the loop I'm super excited about, is the city loop which you have separate camera controls. You can create like this cool angle. You can turn things on and off, like of course the screen as before. There is separate control. We have the LED column, which also has their own control. And we have rotation event and lots of details. We have like some kind of benches on the ground. We have like these light cones here that you see. We have trash cans, fire hoses, a lot of stuff to make this cool and amazing. Of course, we have to flicker. Flicker is important. So there it is, the new feature of Ghost Team Live. Everybody who got the first uh, with V1 can basically download V2 for free and go crazy. Woo!